Our recent reports have confirmed that the Pentagon has authorized the deployment of an unprecedented aircraft to Israel in response to the ongoing conflict with Hamas. This UFO plane boasts of capabilities never before seen in modern aviation. The decision to deploy this aircraft comes on the heels of the USS Gerald R. Ford, the country's most advanced aircraft carrier, being sent to the region. The combination of these two cutting-edge military assets could prove to be a game-changer and potentially turn the tide of the conflict in Israel's favor. What are the capabilities of this UFO plane? What is this advanced plane made of? Join us as we explore the U.S. secret UFO that is arriving at Israel soon. The Pentagon confirmed the deployment of the U.S.'s most advanced aircraft called NAGD to Israel in the midst of its conflict. The United States Air Force launched the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, also known as NGAD, in 2014, as a stealth addition to the U.S. military's arsenal. With an investment of approximately $16 billion, the NGAD fighter represents a collective effort to introduce the era of sixth-generation fighters that excel in every aspect, including speed, altitude, stealth, and technological innovation. The NGAD fighter's rapid speed, which reaches an astounding 1,800 miles per hour, guarantees a swift response time and enables swift ingress and egress from hostile airspace, making it a mighty force in aerial combat. With an impressive flight ceiling of 15 miles, this fighter can operate at altitudes that few adversaries can effectively engage, providing a strategic advantage in the skies. The NGAD fighter's stealth technology is unparalleled. Its advanced stealth coating makes it nearly invisible to radar detection, posing a significant challenge for enemy forces to track and target. This feature confers a significant advantage in any combat scenario, ensuring that the NGAD fighter can operate covertly and strike with precision. The NGAD fighter's standout feature is its integration of cutting-edge artificial intelligence, which endows the fighter with unmatched autonomy and decision-making capabilities. One notable application of this AI technology is its ability to control a swarm of drones, which enhances its versatility and combat effectiveness. This AI-powered feature enables coordinated and precise drone operations while also empowering the NGAD fighter with adaptability and rapid response in dynamic combat situations. The NGAD fighter commands two types of drones. The first type comprises reconnaissance drones equipped with highly precise radars that can track movement within a 46-square-mile radius. This remarkable coverage area enables the detection of any threat or adversary within a significant distance. When strategically positioned along the perimeter, these drones create an impenetrable zone spanning nearly 3,000 miles, effectively blanketing vast areas with surveillance capabilities. Once an aircraft or threat is identified within this extensive surveillance net, the NGAD fighter can quickly engage and deploy the second type of drone. These drones are equipped with advanced weaponry and exhibit exceptional accuracy. When directed toward a target, they can eliminate it within seconds, making them formidable offensive assets in any combat scenario. The NGAD fighter's synergy with its swarm of drones is new to aerial combat tactics. The integration of AI enhances the fighter's situational awareness and extends its reach and lethality. This combination of speed, stealth, and autonomous drone control positions the NGAD fighter as a formidable force on the modern battlefield. However, the NGAD is not the only unconventional aircraft way ahead of its time that the USAF has deployed. One such aircraft is the TR-3B Black Manta, which has been shrouded in countless conspiracy theories and rumors over the years. These theories suggest that it is part of a secret space program dedicated to developing an unusual aircraft capable of flying in low Earth orbit. The TR-3B Black Manta was designed with unique features and an anti-gravity engine, known as a Vortex Flow Engine. With its advanced technology and capabilities, the TR-3B Black Manta 
is a marvel of engineering and a testament to the USAF's commitment to innovation in the field of aerial combat. The origin of this mysterious aircraft can be traced back to the 1980s and 1990s, when reports of unidentified flying objects with triangular shapes began to surface. Witnesses often described large, silent, and low-flying aircraft with exceptional maneuverability. The TR-3B Black Manta is triangular and measures 620 feet in length and 330 feet in width. One of the most intriguing things about the TR-3B is its advanced stealth technology, which makes it almost invisible to radar. This capability has given rise to speculations that the aircraft is used for covert reconnaissance missions, electronic warfare, or other classified operations. The propulsion system of the TR-3B is another fascinating aspect of the aircraft. The speculated propulsion systems are often linked to their reported ability to hover silently and achieve high speeds without producing a sonic boom. Additionally, this aircraft is known for its unique features such as hovering in the air, vertical takeoff, and landing. Another aircraft with mind-blowing capabilities of vertical takeoff and landing is the F-35 Lightning II, manufactured by Lockheed Martin. This family of all-weather stealth multi-role combat aircraft can perform air superiority strike electronic warfare and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. The F-35 has three main variants. The F-35A for conventional takeoff and landing, the F-35B for short takeoff and vertical landing, and the F-35C for carrier-based operations. The X-35 prototype won the Joint Strike Fighter program in 2001, beating out Boeing's X-32, and is primarily funded by the U.S. government, with additional funding from NATO countries and close U.S. allies. Despite criticisms for its cost and complexity, the F-35 entered service with the U.S. Marine Corps in 2015, followed by the U.S. Air Force in 2016 and the U.S. Navy in 2019. The U.S. plans to purchase 2,456 F-35s through 2044, and the aircraft is expected to be a cornerstone of NATO and U.S. Allied air power until 2070. With its impressive capabilities and versatility, the F-35 Lightning II is a testament to the U.S. military's commitment to innovation and cutting-edge technology. This amazing fifth-generation fighter jet, the F-35, is considered the best combat aircraft in the world, and it simply could not do without its features, one of which seems like it was taken from science fiction movies. The fact is that the F-35 was designed to be able to take off and land on aircraft carriers, where there is limited space for acceleration. Therefore, the developers had to be clever and create a unique technology that allowed the fighter to take off and land almost vertically, which saved a huge amount of space on the ship. The largest U.S. aircraft carrier, the Gerald R. Ford, can accommodate up to 90 F-35 fighters. Despite the F-35 championing its title for the best combat aircraft, its concept materialized from the Bird of Prey. The Bird of Prey, designated as the Boeing Model 896, was developed by the Boeing Phantom Works Division, renowned for its cutting-edge and classified projects. Although it was unveiled to the public in 2002, it had already been flying in secret for several years, underscoring its level of secrecy. The decision to declassify the project and reveal its existence to the public was deliberate, shedding light on a remarkable piece of aviation history. The F-35's innovative vertical takeoff and landing capabilities are a testament to the Bird of Prey's influence on the evolution of aviation technology. At first glance, the Bird of Prey exhibits a distinctive and unconventional appearance, featuring a faceted angular shape that contributes to its radar-absorbing capabilities, a hallmark of stealth technology. Its unique appearance earned it the nickname Bird of Prey due to its resemblance to the predatory bird. One of the key achievements of the Bird of Prey project was its success in radar cross-section reduction, which paved the way for more advanced stealth aircraft like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. 
The F-22 Raptor is a fifth-generation fighter designed with an advanced aerodynamic design that combines stealth and aerodynamic performance. Its design is focused on supersonic performance, with extensive area ruling applied to the airplane's shape, and nearly all of the fuselage volume lying ahead of the wing's trailing edge. The F-22 Raptor features clipped diamond-like delta wings, smoothly blended into the angular fuselage, with four empennage surfaces and leading edge root extensions, running to the upper outboard corner of the Caret Inlets. The inlet upper edges also meet the fuselage's four body chines. The F-22 Raptor's flight control surfaces include leading edge flaps, flaperons, ailerons, rudders on the canted vertical stabilizers, and all moving horizontal tails. For speed brake function, flaperon rons defla crutter laperons down and rudders outwards to increase drag. With its advanced design and capabilities, the F-22 Raptor is a testament to the U.S. military's commitment to innovation and cutting-edge technology in aerial combat. The F-22 Raptor has dual Pratt & Whitney augmented turbofan engines that are closely spaced and incorporate pitch-axis thrust vectoring nozzles with a range of plus and 20 degrees. The nozzles are fully integrated into the F-22's flight controls and vehicle management system. Each engine has maximum thrust in the 156kn class. The F-22's thrust-to-weight ratio at typical combat weight is nearly at unity in maximum military power and 1.25 in full afterburner. The Caret inlets are offset from the forward fuselage to divert the boundary layer and generate oblique shocks with the upper inboard corners to ensure good total pressure recovery and efficient supersonic flow compression. The F-22 Raptor has an integrated avionics system that makes it a highly advanced fighter. Through sensor fusion, data from all onboard sensor systems, as well as offboard inputs, are filtered and processed into a combined tactical picture, thus enhancing the pilot's situational awareness and reducing workload. The F-22's baseline software has some 1.7 million lines of code, the majority involving mission systems such as processing radar data. The avionics suite added an open mission systems processor, as well as an open-source Kubernetes platform called the Open Systems Enclave to enable the use of containerized software from third-party vendors. The F-22 Raptor is designed to be highly difficult to detect and track by radar. Measures to reduce radar cross-section include airframe shaping, such as alignment of edges and continuous curvature of surfaces, internal carriage of weapons, fixed geometry serpentine inlets, and curved vanes that prevent line of sight of the engine faces and turbines from any exterior view, use of radar absorbent material, and attention to detail such as hinges and pilot helmets that could provide a radar return. The F-22 was also designed to have decreased radio frequency emissions, infrared signature, and acoustic signature, as well as reduced visibility to the naked eye. The F-22 Raptor's primary air-to-air -air missiles are the AIM-120 AMRAAM and the AIM-9 Sidewinder, with planned integration of the AIM-260 JATM. Missile launches require the bay doors to be open for less than a second, during which pneumatic or hydraulic arms push missiles clear of the aircraft. This is to reduce vulnerability to detection and to deploy missiles during high-speed flight. An internally mounted M61A2 Vulcan, 20 mm rotary cannon is embedded in the airplane's right wing root with the muzzle covered by a retractable door. The radar projection of the cannon fire's path is displayed on the pilot's head-up display. The F-22 Raptor's ability to operate close to the battlefield gives the aircraft threat detection and identification capability comparable with the RC-135 rivet joint and the ability to function as a mini AWACS, though its radar is less powerful than those of dedicated platforms. This allows the F-22 to rapidly designate targets for allies and coordinate friendly aircraft. Data can be transferred to other aircraft through a BACN or via Link 16 through MIDS JTRS. 
The IEE 1494B bus developed for the F-22 was derived from the commercial IEE 1394 Firewire bus system. In 2007, the F-22's radar was tested as a wireless data transceiver, transmitting data at 548 megabits per second and receiving at gigabit speed far faster than the Link 16 system. The radio frequency receivers of the Electronic Support Measures System give the aircraft the ability to perform intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance tasks. The F-22 Raptor is equipped with a glass cockpit featuring all digital flight instruments. The head-up display is monochrome and offers a wide field of view, serving as a primary flight instrument. Additionally, there are six color liquid crystal display panels that display important information. The primary flight controls consist of a force-sensitive side stick controller and a pair of throttles. The canopy's dimensions are approximately 140 inches long, 45 inches wide, and 27 inches tall, and it weighs 360 pounds. It's not just the NAGD that is expected to be deployed. The USAF's most advanced bombers, the B-21 Raider and B-2 Spirit, are also likely to follow suit. The B-21 program is highly classified and designated as a special access program. However, some information about the program has been made public since 2015, even as many technical details and specifications remain classified. The Long Range Strike Bomber program, which led to the B-21, began in 2011, and Northrop Grumman was awarded a development contract in October 2015. However, Boeing and Lockheed Martin filed bid protests, and in October 2016, the Government Accountability Office rejected the challenges and sustained the USAF's decision to award the LRS-B contract to Northrop Grumman. The GAO report revealed that cost was the deciding factor in selecting Northrop Grumman over the Boeing Lockheed Martin team. The B-21 program is managed and acquired by the Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office, instead of the traditional military procurement process. Nevertheless, the B-21 program remains subject to the nunn mccurdy reporting requirements to Congress. The B-21 is expected to be a fifth-generation global precision attack platform with networked sensor shoot capability. Northrop Grumman describes it as the world's first sixth-generation aircraft. The B-21 is the successor to the B-2 Spirit, which was developed to take over the USAF's vital penetration missions. In September 2016, Air Force officials announced that the B-21 would be named Raider in honor of the Doolittle Raiders. The USAF announced seven Tier 1 suppliers for the program in March 2016, including Pratt & Whitney, BAE Systems, Spirit Aero Systems, Orbital ATK, Rockwell Collins, GKN Aerospace, and Janicki Industries. The B-21's engines are expected to be similar enough to the F-35's Pratt & Whitney engine to reduce its cost. The program completed its critical design review in December 2018. In January 2020, new B-21 renderings were released, showing the distinctive flush and blended inlets and the two-wheel main landing gear design. In September 2022, the USAF announced that the B-21 would be unveiled in early December 2022 at Northrop Grumman's production facilities in Palmdale, California. The ceremony took place on Sao December 2022, where Northrop CEO Kathy Warden said that the B-21 has modular open systems architecture to allow easy upgrades and potentially the ability to export components to foreign buyers. Warden also said that the B-21's internal operations were extremely advanced compared to the B-2 and that the B-21 was slightly smaller than the B-2, with a longer range. The B-2 Spirit, the predecessor to the B-52, has significant advantages over previous bombers due to its blend of low observable technologies with high aerodynamic efficiency and a large payload. Low observability provides greater freedom of action at high altitudes, thus increasing both the range and field of view for onboard sensors. 
the USAF reports its range as approximately 6,000 nautical miles. At cruising altitude, the B-2 refuels every six hours, taking on up to 50 short tons of fuel at a time. The development and construction of the B-2 Spirit required the pioneering use of computer-aided design and manufacturing technologies due to its complex flight characteristics and design requirements to maintain very low visibility to multiple means of detection. The B-2 bears a resemblance to earlier Northrop aircraft. The YB-35 and YB-49 were both flying wing bombers that had been canceled in development in the early 1950s. The resemblance goes as far as B-2 and YB-49 having the same wingspan. The YB-49 also had a small radar cross-section. Approximately 80 pilots fly the B-2. Each aircraft has a crew of two, a pilot in the left seat and a mission commander in the right, and has provisions for a third crew member if needed. For comparison, the B-1B has a crew of four and the B-52 has a crew of five. The B-2 is highly automated and one crew member can sleep in a camp bed, use a toilet or prepare a hot meal while the other monitors the aircraft, unlike most two-seat aircraft. Advanced training is conducted at the USAF Weapons School. In the envisaged Cold War scenario, the B-2 was to perform deep penetrating nuclear strike missions, making use of its stealthy capabilities to avoid detection and interception throughout the missions. There are two internal bomb bays in which munitions are stored either on a rotary launcher or two bomb racks. The carriage of the weapon's loadouts internally results in less radar visibility than external mounting of munitions. The B-2 is capable of carrying 40,000 Dalelbi of ordnance. Nuclear ordnance includes the B-61 and B-83 nuclear bombs. The ACM cruise missile was also intended for use on the B-2 platform. In light of the dissolution of the Soviet Union, it was decided to equip the B-2 for conventional precision attacks as well as for the strategic role of nuclear strike. The B-2 features a sophisticated GPS-aided targeting system that uses the aircraft's synthetic aperture radar to map out targets before the deployment of GPS-aided bombs, later superseded by the Joint Direct Attack Munition. In the B-2's original configuration, up to 16 GPS-aided bombs or JDAMs could be deployed. An upgrade program in 2004 raised the maximum carrier capacity to 80 JDAMs. The B-2 has various conventional weapons in its arsenal, including Mark 82 and Mark 84 bombs, CBU-87 combined effects munitions, Gator mines, and the CBU-97 sensor-fused weapon. As of 2011, the JASSM cruise missile is an upcoming standoff munition to be deployed on the B-2 and other platforms. This is to be followed by the long-range standoff weapon, which may give the B-2 standoff nuclear capability for the first time. To make the B-2 more effective than previous bombers, many advanced and modern avionic systems were integrated into its design. These have been modified and improved following a switch to conventional warfare missions. One system is the low probability of intercepting AN multi-mode radar, a fully digital navigation system that is integrated with terrain following radar and global positioning system guidance. The onboard defensive management system is capable of automatically assessing the detection capabilities of identified threats and indicated targets. The avionics are controlled by radiation-resistant MIL-STD-1753A computers, which are interconnected through MIL-STD-1553B buses. Other system elements are connected via optical fiber. To address the inherent flight instability of a flying wing aircraft, the B-2 uses a complex quadruplex computer-controlled fly-by-wire flight control system that can automatically manipulate flight surfaces and settings without direct pilot inputs to maintain aircraft stability. The B-2's low observable, or stealth, characteristics enable the undetected penetration of sophisticated anti-aircraft defenses and to attack even heavily defended targets.
Additional reduction in its radar signature was achieved by the use of various radar absorbent materials to absorb and neutralize radar beams. The majority of the B2 is made out of a carbon graphite composite material that is stronger than steel, lighter than aluminum, and absorbs a significant amount of radar energy. The B2 is composed of many curved and rounded surfaces across its exposed airframe to deflect radar beams. The potential deployment of the NAGD, B-21 Raider, and B-2 Spirit to the real world could be a game-changer in the ongoing conflict that has lasted over a month. With their advanced capabilities and technologies, these aircraft could significantly impact the outcome of the conflict and potentially turn the tide in favor of their operators. It remains to be seen if and when these aircraft will be in action, but their potential impact cannot be ignored. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click the link on your screen to check out more videos. See you there.